How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and today welcome back to another condo tour here in Pattaya, Thailand. Specifically, we're here today in Jam Tien Beach, as you may be able to tell. But today's condo is one that I probably get asked about the most. It's really between two places. The one I'm showing you today and one other one. And don't worry, I'll be showing the other one in due time very soon. We're gonna run the format a little bit differently today. I've got four different rooms I'm gonna show you guys, four different budgets. And I'm kind of just gonna put everything on screen just so we can kind of get through everything a little bit quicker. Of course, I'll show you all the amenities, everything the building itself has to offer. And I'll share with you a little bit about the location here in just a second. And you'll know the things you may or may not need and where they will be relative to your location if this is somewhere you decide to be. Okay, before we go in, one of the main things that I'm thinking about when I'm looking for a new place, and in all reality, you should probably should too, is location. Especially in Thailand, things are set up a little bit differently than they are in America, of course, but realistically, probably wherever you're coming from. So location is really important here. One nice thing about Copacabana is obviously you're right on the beach. And when it comes to things that you may not be able to find directly in the building, which honestly, there are very few, you are right here on the main drag in John Tian, right, literally right next door to you. You've got the John Tian night market, so plenty of access to Thai food. This market actually has a lot of Western food, which is great as well. You're on the beach right here, and you're kind of at the top when you come in from Central Patea. So if there's anything farther down the beach you need to do or want to do, you can hop on the bot bus, cruise down there. And of course, no matter where you are in Thailand, there is a 7-Eleven within 100 meters. So you've got access to all that stuff pharmacies, laundry, you name it, it is all right here on the same block as you. So the location, in my opinion, cannot really be much better, but without further ado, let's go check out the building itself. So here we are in the studio at Copacabana John Tien. Some of the best facilities, which I'm sure you guys have seen a little bit of, but I'll make sure that you catch a little bit of everything. But walking through here, one thing you can't really get over is just how good this view is. I'm getting vertigo, kind of, standing by this window, but this room is starting at 29 square meters, which, like we've mentioned in some previous videos, is pretty standard. It's a little bit more spread out. So in the kitchen here, one thing that's definitely not common that I really enjoy is there's plenty of room for a nice large fridge. Same thing here, you've got a couple burners, which is always nice. The standard microwave, which you will need 100%. And it's actually, for a studio, got a lot of counter room and plenty of storage, which is a problem I've personally run into quite a bit. It's hard to find places to put stuff. And coming out into the living room, this is set up pretty nice. One thing that's a lot different about Thailand most of the time is you're not going to have a crazy full-size sectional like we do in America, but this is a perfect size. Of course, got room for a TV, room for the Xbox, whatever you need. And then coming into the bedroom, one thing that I really like about this place is just the size of the windows. Of course, if you're paying for a beachfront condo, of course, you want that view, and you can't really beat this one. 
In this room, plenty of room for a bed. I do believe this is a queen. Just looking at it fits pretty well in here. And coming over, you got a big closet relatively for Thailand, plenty of storage. And most of these layouts, at least in this side of the building, in this section are gonna be pretty close to the same. There might be a little nuance difference. So this is what you can expect. The building's divided into different sections. You can get a little bit of different things and prices will vary depending on what side of the building you're on, what floor, but we'll give you a pretty good idea of where you can expect to be. Coming over to the bathroom, which is really big for a studio, honestly, coming right in. Really nice fixtures, which I guess I'm getting older because that's something that I definitely look for. One nice thing about this too is the floors. A lot of floors in Thailand can get pretty hard to keep clean. This one's nice and flat, which would be super nice. A shower that I can fit under nice and tall. That's always a big selling point for me. But for right now, let's go check out the rest of the building. So personally for me, a few boxes that this place checks that some places might not. Everything might be different for you, but this is what I look for, especially in Thailand. One, room for a nice big fridge. You can fit all your brujas in there, your strawberries, whatever you need. Also, especially for Thailand, a huge kitchen. Plenty of storage. We've got four burners right here, which is super rare. Got the microwave down there, which is standard for your 7-Eleven toasties. Nice big deep sink, which is super nice. Big layout when it comes to the living room and the dining area. This is of course great because you can you know, get your feng shui however you want. You can move stuff around a little bit and then plenty of space on both patios if you wanna put some more furniture out there, anything like that. And the layout for this room, especially for 65 square meters, it's laid out really well. It makes it feel like you got a lot of space. It's much more of an open concept, higher ceilings, which make it feel a lot bigger, which I really enjoy.
All right, guys, so hello from Future Tempest. Now that we've gotten a look at Copacabana, we've checked out all the beautiful facilities and everything, there are a few things I want to go over. Now, if you got a chance to watch my most recent video about renting in Thailand, one thing that I did mention is a lot of these buildings that are more popular, that are in these great locations, that have a lot of great amenities and are fairly priced, the thing is, they fill up quick. Now, another thing to understand is in all these buildings, there is a Thai quota. So the rooms that we did show in Copa fall under that umbrella. These are under Thai quota. So it can be pretty hard to get in there. That's not to say people aren't selling and there isn't stuff available. But lucky for you, if you are interested in purchasing a property through Copa Cabana, Copacabana Coral Reef, their second property here in John Tian is already in the works. I did get a chance to stop by and get some information from them when it comes to what they're going to have available, what the property is going to look like a bit. They are in the process of building the showrooms for the individual units. When those are finished, I will be going back so we can look at them in person. I'll go ahead and throw the information on screen, just a brief overview of the starting prices for different floor plans and what they are going to offer. When it comes to the actual layouts of everything, I'll be sure to feature that in the video once the showrooms are done. The reality is with these nicer properties like Copacabana, once the building is up and people can come in and look at things, they tend to go pretty quick. Unfortunately, this video will never be long enough to cram in all the information about everything that is offered, the different prices, the different layouts. So if you do have any questions, feel free to just drop me an email and I will be able to answer any questions for you. And anything that I can't, I could put you through to Ramon and the guys over at Elite Properties. They are very knowledgeable when it comes to the ins and outs of everything. If you did make it this far and you enjoyed the video, drop me a like. Drop me a subscribe so you can get updated every time I upload new videos and continue to share some more real estate options for you when you come to Thailand. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will catch you in the next one.